How did Crawfish Etouffee take America by storm? How much does Rob Anderson really know about crustaceans? And which member of my family is the true star of YouTube? All of this will be revealed on this week's episode of Benedict's Guide to Food Stuff. I lick my lips and shake my hips, I see. Hey, Ben Nation, it's time for Benedict's Guide to Food Stuff. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most dynamic dishes on this season of MasterChef, Crawfish Etouffee. And I'm excited to do it with my returning guest, Mr. Rob Anderson. And I am excited to be back, especially since last time. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we went a little off script there. This is a joke. This is f***ing embarrassing. I've had sh more productive than you. Have you ever done one useful thing in your entire life? I'm trying my best. I honestly have been wondering how you're doing. You're not returning any of my texts. Are you oh, okay? I know. I'm sorry. You were so sweet to check in. Uh, look, I, I was just busy, and but I'm really well, actually. The show's building an audience, and I am two sessions into this thing called acceptance and commitment therapy. Well, that sounds like pretty necessary, honestly. Yeah, that's what my therapist says. Oh, before we start, I found out that you are related to a certain YouTube creator. Oh, oh, you mean my cousin, Florentine. Yes, Florentine. I am obsessed with her. She is so funny. She does this impression of lipstick. <laughs> so good. Yeah, she's sweet. You know, I, I don't know how long she'll keep it up. I mean, a couple of years ago, she was really into horseback riding, so. Well, you must be excited for her news, making Influencer Magazine 26 under 26. Influencer Magazine? For the little makeup videos? Well, she has 19 million subscribers. What? Since when? Over the last couple months. I think that cat eye episode really put her over. Uh, uh, okay. You know, just think about how happy I am for her. Okay, Rob. Since our featured dish is crawfish etouffee, I thought it'd be amusing to see how much you really know about crustaceans. Is this gin? Yeah, you want a pinch? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Thanks. Who said shellfish are the prime cause of the decline of morals? Was it A, Ronald Reagan, B, Yogi Berra, or C, Pliny the Elder? A, Yogi Berra? Nope, Pliny the Elder. In Hans Christian Andersen's original Little Mermaid, the crab sidekick was actually A, a lobster, B, a horny sea captain, or C, a second smaller mermaid. I guess just by process of elimination, I would say- You know what, it's just, I, I, I put a lot of work into the show. Okay, the research, the graphics. All of the work really shows and then that I guess it... Florentine, she just hits record on her phone and then all of a sudden 19 million people are dying to watch her do makeup. She really connects with her audience. No, you know what, Rob? It's fine, okay? It's fine. It's good to know that I didn't need to rent these three cameras. And I didn't need to pay for Donald's videography course. You said it was a gift. And you know what? I didn't need this kettle either. This brand new kettle that I bought so that we could have a unified color theme in the kitchen! Well I just think your show is so great. And your love for food is infectious? Yeah, but do I just love food because I am food? I mean, is this all just some grand act of narcissism? No, you're sharing stories about your community. And I think the more accurate history lessons are very entertaining. Yeah, some of them are okay, I guess. And how are you going to get into Influencer Magazine if you just quit now? Yeah, yeah, you're right. F*** it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> uh, well. As anyone from the beautiful state of Louisiana will tell you, crawfish have always been a staple of the local cuisine. Tribes of this region caught these delicious mud bugs using reeds covered in deer meat. In fact, the Huma Nation actually derived their name from the indigenous word for crawfish. Uh, you know what? No, I, I can't do this. What do you mean you can't do it? You're doing great. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm just, I'm shouting into the void. Hey, I am really enjoying it. Yeah, well, you're not who the algorithm cares about, Rob. What are you, 35? You might as well be dead. Okay, Benedict, you are dangerously close to crossing a line here. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Cajuns arrived in southern Louisiana in the 1700s after being forced out of Canada by the British. Having nothing with them but what they could carry, these settlers soon learned that crawfish were a plentiful free food source in their new home. Enter the crawfish étouffée. Culinary historians, including my research assistant Marjorie, believe the dish was likely invented in the early 20th century in the small town of Brobridge, Louisiana. And it was there that the dish first appeared and... Okay, nope. Nope. Oh, no. Uh, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Here, you take it. What is this? These are your notes? Oh my god, how is this even organized? <laughs> okay. It was there the dish first appeared on a menu at the Hebert Hotel. Mrs. Hebert, the hotel proprietoress, put crawfish over a bed of rice and covered it with a delicious sauce full of onions, celery, pepper, and Cajun spices. It was dubbed étouffée, the French word for smothered. Well, that's actually really interesting. Ugh, makeup. <sighs> but the dish might have stayed just a local secret if it were not for another enterprising woman, Aileen Champagne. Aileen was a chef who ran the Rendezvous restaurant just outside of Bro Bridge. Aileen filled her menu with delicious Cajun dishes and is said to have added Mrs. Hebert's crawfish étouffée in the 1950s. Oh shit. She stole the whole recipe? That's iconic. I mean, half of these are just eyebrow tutorials. Do people really need 36 ways to draw on eyebrows? Legend has it that Martin Begnaud, a banker from Lafayette, came into Aileen's restaurant one day, drawn by a delicious aroma. When he asked what she was making, Aileen said, I'm simply smothering my crawfish tails. A uh, little heavy on the accent there, Rob. I, are you sure you don't want to do it? I bet your accent is so good. I am simply a smothering my crawfish tail. Oh yeah, so authentic. So, Mr. Begnard tried the dish, he loved it, and he retained the following week with 10 of his employees, each ordering crawfish etouffees. From there, the legend of the dish spread far and wide, and before long, across the land, everyone was demanding crawfish, crawfish etouffee. To me, the moral of that history segment is that if you make something with enough passion and care, it's gonna find an audience. Or maybe it's that if you make something with love, someone else will steal it and get famous for it. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tune in to watch MasterChef Wednesdays at 8, 7 central on Fox and the next day on Hulu. I'll be back in two weeks. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, post a comment, or... Benedict! Are you done with your friend? Celebrity guest, mother! Well, hurry up! I gotta tell you the best news about Florentine! Oh, no, Ugh. not a good time. Ugh.